Falling in love is a mysterious experience. There are countless movies, songs, and even social media posts that portray it as something incredible and wonderful. Yo, you're missing out. When it happened to me, I was like, oh, hey, the rumors are true. <laughs> All those Celine Dion songs make sense now. It was the first time I felt I could be exactly who I was and be liked for everything that I was. So when the relationship ended, or to be exact, when he broke up with me, <laughs> I was pretty devastated. Here's a mini story of how it happened. We were living in Japan at the time, and one day he said, hey, why don't we move back to the US? Our friends and family are there. We can have a better life, you know? And I answered, yeah, okay, sure. Okay, cool. You go first because I have a good job here. When you find a job there, I'll follow you. Okie dokie, lover. So I closed my life in Japan and moved to the US. Just two weeks later, he called me to say, yeah, I'm breaking up with you. I was actually not planning to move. He gave me his reasons, which I'll save for another story. The point is, I was blindsided by someone who I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I was a wreck and had a bit of a breakdown. I felt like I lost myself, but after some soul searching, I realized that I had actually lost myself a long time ago. You see, my happiness was so dependent on someone else that I had forgotten what made me happy as an individual. I had neglected my own passions and dreams because love to me was the kind of love portrayed in these silly songs and movies. You're my one and only true soulmate. I will die without you. I will kill myself right now with this kitchen knife if you leave that door, you hear me? But I'm just going to the groceries. Yeah, that's just unhealthy. So when I was searching for what made me happy, in the middle of desperation, agony, and painful heartache, a voice popped up in my head and gave me one word. Nintendo. I was like, are you saying working at Nintendo is the key to finding happiness again? Oh, you bet your ass it is. When I stopped to think about it, it made sense. I had always been a gamer and video games always brought me happiness since I was a kid. But all this time I was too oblivious to research about getting a job in the gaming industry. Since I felt I had nothing else to lose anymore, my instincts and determination did everything possible to get hired at Nintendo. It took a while, but I did it. This wasn't just a quest to pursue my passion, it was also a rescue mission to recover the part of me that got lost. Nintendo led me to a series of events that finally allowed me to discover who I was and what I liked to do in life, like be creative, art, music, writing. This is all me. I love composing music and check out my album. I would love to hear what you think. And I'm even writing a book about this experience. Moral of the story, partnerships are important. After all, life can't be navigated alone, but your eternal happiness should never depend on someone else. It should come from within you. If you're fortunate enough to be experiencing the mystery of love, let it empower you. But always remember to stay true to yourself. We each have our own unique journey to happiness and self-discovery, which is ours alone to face.